Travis. I warned you both that I cry away. <laughs> I do so without apology. I am no longer ashamed of this. I see no reason to attempt to conceal or suppress the, my emotional response to the overwhelming joy of bearing witness to two people in love joining their lives together as well. But because I cry at weddings, I do hope you'll forgive me for reading my remarks to you today. I gave long and careful thought to what I wanted to say to you on this occasion, and I don't want to leave anything out. As this day approached and I reflected on what I wanted to say to you today, I found myself powerfully moved to talk about the past and the future and the present. And let me quickly allay my husband's fears <laughs> and let assure everyone that my remarks on these topics will be brief. After all, you have much more important things to do today than mm -hmm. listen to me. So I thought, what about, I thought about what brought us to this day the past that led to this present, and how you both became such an important part of our lives. Charlie, it's been well over a decade since we spent weekend after weekend at the nightclub, where each night we eagerly awaited for the DJ to play the latest Janet Jackson track so we could rush to the dance floor. I remember staying up together well past dawn deliberating on the way things were and the way things ought to be. But more than that, I remember how you planned a, a friend's birthday celebration from hundreds of miles away. And I remember how you organized dozens of capable hands to transform our friend Frank's house into a livable home in a single afternoon. Even today, you continue to help us all stay focused on improving the condition of the community around us. You've always reminded us that together, we can do far more than we can do alone. And Charlie, you were the one who bore witness to our wedding. So there was never any doubt that David and I would go joyfully wherever we had to go and do whatever we had to do to bear witness to you. Travis, I haven't known you for nearly as long, but I knew you were special on the day that we met. I remembered the date without looking at the calendar. It was December 18th, 2011. It seems like yesterday, and it seems like a lifetime ago. When you and I stood side by side in Steve's kitchen and blew out that spectacular birthday candle, the one that Charlie got for us, how could I have known that less than two years later, we would be here? And even sooner than that, you would become so close to all our hearts. I have enjoyed getting to know you. You have a view of the world that is so similar to my own. You've already made a beautiful addition to our family. So I'll let a brief bit of my recent past lead us into the future. At a wedding I attended last weekend, the bishop said two things that really struck me. He began his remarks by asking everyone assembled to reflect on what path they were on. Now put a pin in that. I'll get back to that in just a minute. The second thing the bishop said that struck me was this image of two imperfect people pouring their lives together. It's messy. There will inevitably be struggles. There will inevitably be disappointments. There will inevitably be hurt feelings. You have heard me say this differently, although I don't think David likes it when I say this. Charlie, <laughs> Travis, I hope you fight. <laughs> I hope you will always have the courage to share how you really feel with one another, even when you know it will be uncomfortable. The bishop said we had a choice about how we handle those disappointments and hurt feelings. We can keep score, 
keeping a running tally of wins and losses, or we can practice forgiveness. When you can trust that in the end, you both want what's best for both of you, you can see that the fight is really about a valuable difference in perspective. And you'll both be better off for having worked through it. You can forgive each other those disappointments and hurt feelings when you recognize and accept each other and yourselves as imperfect people who, in spite of the mess, have chosen to pour your lives together. I hope you fight. I hope you never keep school. Which brings me to this day, today. I am repeatedly reminded that no day is promised to any of us. Each moment in our lives is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Charlie and Travis, today you are becoming hyphenated. Now I know, like David and I, you gave a good deal of thought to whose name should be before the hyphen and whose name should be after. But I hope you realize that what's before and what's after aren't nearly as important as what's between. The hyphen. That's the shared path you embark on today. That's the shared path that lies in front of you. Together, you can do far more than either of you could do alone. Now, I underestimated the impact of my own wedding. After all, David and I had been together for 25 years oh before we got married. I'm really glad you didn't have to wait so long. Me too. But even after 25 years, our wedding changed us in ways we didn't expect. We feel a deeper sense of commitment to one another. A deeper sense than we ever thought possible. We know, now, that we have one path to travel, together. So in conclusion, I thought, with all of these years of experience that I have <laughs> accumulated, that I would have some sage advice to offer to you on this very special occasion. But I really only have two words. They are the same two words of advice I offered to Charlie all those years ago when we stayed up well past dawn together. And those two words of advice apply today more than ever. Pay attention. Pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to how you make each other feel. Pay attention to how you feel when you're together. And especially today, pay attention to everything you see and everything you hear and everything you experience, especially today. If you are even a tenth as lucky as I am, <laughs> the memory of this day is a gift you will treasure for the rest of your lives. So today, I offer you my tears. Along with the love of a parent for a child, more love for you both than my heart can hold. And my very highest hope that your path in life together will be long and prosperous and filled with joy. <laughs> oh, me too.